Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will talk about the new Unify Protect release, Unify Protect 5.1.57, which brought a lot of new features, improvement, and the bug fixes. So as of now on the screen, you see I have a Unify Protect uh, running on a uh, version 5.1.57 and here is the release note so under the release note if you check the overview it will show show you the improvements and the bug fixes so they have introduced the case manager sensor manager nfc fingerprint support for the g4 doorbell pro loitering detection for some cameras and the improvement and the bug fixes so i will put down a link in the description of this release note so you can uh, take a look into the bug fixes and the improvement so first we will take a look into the case manager so basically case manager where you can easily create an incident report event and you can send it to that report to the organization or anyone uh, it will be uh, you can add a node on it write a note on it uh, how events occur and what was the thing done in that event so you can uh, create a pdf file of that so right now under the case manager uh, i have two events uh, case created here so you can check for the case uh, it is for one of my unify protect cameras let me refresh the screen so you can see the image of that okay so now you can see the two events uh, i have reported on that case manager uh, one is of clearing the path i have uh, written the note here so you can edit and re re uh, rewrite the note again and this is a demolishing of the food path and clearing of that food and you can download this event like uh, if you after you download it uh, it will be done in the pdf file so you can uh, send that pdf file report to your team and you can see the event and it show it will uh, you can see the clear uh, e events everything like if you can uh, zoom in and zoom out and check for the events like uh, new case you can uh, and it's created by me and you can check that event and you can send this pdf file so it's a pretty good features and after that if you are using a unified g4 doorbell pro on your door uh, now it's at the ability you can have the your fingerprint sensor as well as the nfc card to unlock the door using on the g4 doorbell pro i don't have that uh, g4 doorbell pro on my network but uh, with the unify product 5.1.5 to 7 you can add that so it's a pretty good feature and if you are using a unify protect sensor you will get an options to check the protect uh, sensor all the detail and analytics of that data and everything so if you are having a unified protect sensor like the humidity temperature and the water level sensor uh, you will see a recordings of that and you can uh, view the real time recording of your uh, sensor and you can check the stats analytics and the environmental conditions and after that they have added a features called false ai detections it's like ai false positive uh, which improves the ai false detection and it reports the event to the ui so if you go to the detections and um, if you look into the each of the detections you will see the flag options in if you want to add this event as a flag you can just click on that flag and it you, you will see a new option added here as a flag so you can view on the each flag section so it will be easy for you to check the flag section for which is uh, which event you have set as a flag so it's very easy feature and if you go to the settings and system and enter the advanced you will see the options called report false detection so it will improve the accuracy of feature detection function and the user can provide feedback on that and uh, uh, so these all were the listed features like under the overview uh, they have added a uh, loitering detection also so if you under the improvements first improvement you, you will see under the alarm manager if you go to the create create alarm you will set the trigger on the activity objects sounds and the systems so even for the new ai cameras you can set for the license plate recognition face id 
that is also has been added in the protect sensor but i don't have that camera so that option is not showing up here it's hidden but under the activity you can set li line crossing loitering and these nfc card scan fingerprint scan and the doorbell links or for the door uh, doorbell is required and the sensor activity and the motion you can set under the object you can set for the person vehicle package animal the sound for each of the sound and for the system like the device issue adoption admin access recording download and delete uh, delete uh, delete of the recording and the divide limit exceeds it will give you a notification and you can include all the cameras even you want to exclude you can another action you can notify it will notify all, all, all on the all admins or uh, on the specific admins and even you can set on the webhook url and this is the unlock trigger if you are using unify access uh, door log and the uh, unify g3 instant camera is also on the same network uh, for the door uh, so uh, you can trigger the event by just looking at the unify camera it will unlock the door i have done uh, that in my previous unify product video unify product 4.1.50 i will put only link in the uh, up in the i button you can check that so you can uh, so these new features has been added on the alarm also and one of the bug fixes they have done on the third party cameras for example if you go into the third party cameras if you run the playback uh, here so if you change the playback speed on the previous version the playback speed was not working so right now you can uh, change the playback speed for example i can i will sc scroll down back and i will change the playback speed to 8x so you can uh, see the playbacks here speed it it is working on the previous version it was not working on the third party cameras but it has been improved uh, for the third party cameras so playback has been improved also uh, they have improved uh, the options you can play and pause the recording using spacebar for example right now i'm not using any mouse i can just uh, run the spacebar it will uh, start the recording and it will pause the recording so they they have improved that also they have improved the image quality resiliency of the playback recording in this new uh, unify protect version and uh, with uh, unify protect 5.1.57 they have bundled the camera version of 4.73.7 and if we check here yeah all the unify cameras g3 flex g3 blood g3 instant all the g5 turret all comes with the same firmware version of 4.73.71 so you will see that uh, improvement oh, one of the improvements uh, you will see in these cameras like they have uh, added the options here uh, if you click on the all events you can uh, filter it with the match confidence like if you set on the 33 percent it will filter the event to that 33 percent match event and it will show you if you set on the 50 percent it will filter and it will show you that event so for example i can uh, check for uh, like event like certain minutes ago 17 minutes ago this is the event and here you can uh, set the detection as a confidence level so it will show you the uh, detection according to the confidence level and from here also you can add it here to the case for example uh, that the vehicle is moving or anything you can add a case it from here so they have improved all those features and the bug fixes uh, bug fixes in this unify protect version 5.1.57 so i think that's it for the today's video i hope you will like this video and if you are new to my channel please make sure to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you in the next video bye